All right, we are doing the front pocket for our Simplicity 9050. And so with this, I'm working on view B. And um, for this one, we need some bias tape. So I'm opening my bias tape. I am doing the whole project in white muslin. But for this, I'm gonna, I have some bias tape that's kind of off white so that you can see it. So the first step in this, I'm on step nine. I need to cut some bias tape that I'm gonna finish this curved portion of the pocket here in, with bias tape. So I just need to cut a piece that's slightly longer than that curved piece. So I'm gonna cut that off. And I need one pocket. So I'm gonna take this, and um, what I'm gonna do is on bias, one, one edge is slightly longer than the other. And so I'm gonna open that up, just, it's like folded towards the center. So um, when you open it up, so bias tape is cut on the bias, and so it's used to uh, fold around curved edges and it's going to beautifully wrap around this curved edge and we're going to fold it to the back so i'm placing it on the right side so this is going to be the right side of your fabric though my my fabric doesn't have a right and wrong side you're going to put it on the right side of your fabric so i'm going to place it and pin it and i'm going to open that edge up so that my bias tape edge is lined up to the edge of my pocket. And um, so when I sew it, I'm gonna stitch it right in the ditch that you can see there's a crease on bias tape. I'm gonna stitch it in that crease. So it is pinned, I've put my pins in, I've opened it up, the edge of the bias tape is matched up to the edge of my pocket, and there's a crease that I'm just gonna stitch in right now. I, I'm gonna, instead of sewing, like using a, one of my seam guides, I'm gonna use just that crease as my guide. So I'm gonna stitch that, just follow that guide along the edge and it's gonna so that what we are on we're doing um step number nine on our pattern it is step number nine okay so i've reached the end on this one you really don't need to back stitch because you're going to be going over this stitching line again so it doesn't need to be reinforced. Now it's gonna, um, so I've done that. Now I'm gonna understitch this. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm, so I've finished that. I'm going to, um, so I've, I'm going to turn the tape to the inside and press. So turning it to the inside I'm gonna get my iron. So we have kind of bias tape just automatically kind of curves and forms because it's cut on the bias. So So then once I've done that, so it, I've stitched that, I can I can stitch, they want you to stitch from, um, they want you to first under stitch, so you're gonna turn the tape the inside and press and you're going to stitch close to that inner tape so first I'm going to press and I'm going to under stitch 
So that's a, a stitch that is stitched through the bias tape and the seam allowance of the pocket. And that helps to make the um, all the seam allowance roll towards the pocket side. So I've just I've stitched through the bias tape and the seam allowance. And now I'm gonna press all that flat towards the inside of the pocket. And I'm going to pin that and I'm gonna stitch it. I want you to stitch it through the front side. And my seam allowance, I wanna catch Make sure that I catch the um, catch the bias tape, and I want to keep a nice seam, an even seam. Because this shows on the outside. So just catching that bias tape. it a nice press before I show it to the camera because it kind of you know it'll press out but so there's that top stitch there I caught it now before I can put it onto the front of my pants I'm going to stitch I'm gonna I'm on um, step 11 no what what am I on I am on step yes 11 and I'm gonna um, stitch a 5 8 7 inch down the this side the corner and across the bottom and this is gonna give me a seam allowance to follow as I turn under the edge That was the bottom. Here's my corner. And one more side. All right, done with that. So now, now I have something to follow as I press. Oops, I got something hanging on there. And I'm gonna, so to the back, I'm gonna press this to the back, following the stitching lines I just stitch, or I just sewed for myself. So I press down the side, I press the bottom up, and then I press that corner. So it's kind of important that you follow those order of operations there because you get a better looking corner if you do. So side, bottom, corner. And so that pocket is ready to be put onto my pants. So now I need to get my, my front. So I need to get my front pant. Here it is. I need to take my pattern off. I have already marked this where it's gonna go. It's not gonna be that hard to, to figure out where it goes, but take my pattern off. I just need one layer. When I marked this, I marked the um, the pockets. You always mark the pockets on the front side, so it's easier to to know how to place your pocket. So I need to find which side. So this is this does not go to this side because it. So I need to get my other pant. Here it is. So I have my, this is my crotch curve here. So my pocket's gonna go on this side. So you have to think about that, like which side does your pocket logically fit? So it matches up not just 
to the top here, but there's a notch here that's gonna match up to the notch on the side of the, of the pant. And then there's, here's the two dots. So I match those corners, match to that dot. There's a corner here, there's a dot here on the edge that matches, and there's a mark here up at the top that it matches. And you kind of match up all those placements. And I'm going to pin it. And so you are sewing this on, on around the perimeter using um, an eighth, just an eighth of an inch away from the edge. And to keep it from moving, you might want to also, you know, stitch it here at the side of your pant and at the top of the pant, just, you know, to keep it in place so it doesn't move around, you know, before you, before you get your pant all put together. So I'm going to stitch that. I have pins everywhere here. Okay. So I start at the edge and I'm just keeping it an eighth of an inch. Doing an edge stitch. It's called an edge stitch when you're right on the edge. You don't want to get too far in from that edge because it just looks homemade. So I get to the corner, needle down, press her foot up, turn, press her foot down, get to the next corner, needle down, press her foot up, press her foot down, up to the top. Okay. And pocket is all stable and in place. Okay, so. I want to, before I move on, I'm gonna just do a little basting stitch across the top because I want to not have to worry about pins to keep this in place. And then I'm gonna do another basting stitch along here on the side because I just don't want to have to deal with pins. Because it'll, it'll be a little, you know, it'll be a couple more steps before I get to the point where I'm putting my legs all together. Okay, so let me show that to the camera. There, my pocket's all in place. I'm gonna cut those threads, but to make it look real good and to follow the directions, there's a second parallel stitching line that's gonna go here, here, to here. So I'm gonna add that now. And so I'm gonna use the edge of my foot to add a parallel stitching line that's a quarter inch away from that first stitching line. And it's actually going to make this look really cool. So don't skip out on this. Add this in. And it does, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of practice to get that um, quarter inch really, you know, when you get to those corners to know when to make that turn. But it'll you'll get there you'll get there all right and that pocket is done so pocket B done I like to give it a press to make it look all it helps meld those stitches yes meld is the word meld those stitches into the garment and I'm now gonna I'll do the other leg pockets are finished that's probably the hardest part of this whole pant project. Okay, so I will see you when we put those legs together.